Why is my realtor encouraging me to sell my house for less money? Does he not want me to make as much money as possible? What's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Brandon. I'm a real estate agent here in Los Angeles and thanks so much for checking out the video. If you haven't done so already, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below as it does help grow the channel. Thank you. If you're getting ready to list your house this year, you've probably spoken to a couple real estate agents already and talked to them about price. And I'm sure some of them may have told you to list it lower than a price that you would have liked. Am I right? And I'm sure you're probably thinking, heck no, I'm not gonna list my house for that. Why do you want me to give my house away? I'm not selling my house for that. What if I told you there's actually a strategy behind this and we are not trying to sell the house for a penny less than it's actually worth. You see, this is our reputation as well. We're not just trying to get a quick sell. We are trying to show every freaking neighbor in your community that you hired the best darn real estate agent ever. We wanna be the best real estate agent that any of the neighbors have ever heard of. So when they get ready to sell their house, who are they gonna call? They're gonna call us or they're gonna call you and say, John, who is your real estate agent? Can I have his number? Why, yes. Yes, you can. What we are actually trying to do is put you, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, in the driver's seat. And let me explain how. We want to put your house at a price that every single buyer in town is seeing it, talking about it, looking at it, saying, man, this is a great price. I got to get inside this property. I got to see what this house is about. We got to bring you activity, massive activity, to bring you a lot of offers so you get to pick the offer that best meets what you're looking for. My house is the best house on the block. I'm gonna price it higher than every other home that's sold in this neighborhood and I'm still gonna get multiple offers. No, you're not. That's it. That's simple. Nope, not gonna happen. You may get one or two, but it's not. you're not gonna set the record price, which is what I'm gonna do if you, if you trust me. See, we're gonna load your home with showings. We're gonna get buyer after buyer after buyer after buyer in there. I'm gonna be like this all weekend. I'm gonna be like, because I'm gonna be so busy scheduling these buyers to come through the house. I'm gonna be, my, my mind's gonna be going crazy. There's gonna be so many people wanting to see your house. And guess what? There's gonna be a lot of buyers wanting to make an offer on your house. And guess, and just, just imagine this, just, just listen to this. You show up to a property. You love this property, day one on the market. You show up, oh, there's somebody already outside talking with their agent about making an offer. And hey, there's somebody already inside viewing the property. Oh, now it's my turn. I get to go inside and I, I walk out now and the same buyer's still outside talking with his agent and, and now we got three more families waiting to get inside. Holy cow, that's a hot property. And when you see that, Mr. and Mrs. Buyer, what do you, what kind of offer you think you got to write? You think you can negotiate the price down when you see tons of buyers interested in the property? Or do you think you got to make the best offer you possibly can? That is the methodology that we are trying to create. We want to create massive activity and massive interest in your property, Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner. So when it's time to negotiate, you have plenty of offers. You have right off the bat, a bunch of strong offers and you get to negotiate with them and find the one that's willing to play ball with you. When somebody tries to hardball you back and they're not willing to work with you, you say, that's fine. I got eight other offers to choose from. I don't need your business later and then we move on to the next offer but at the same time you know price is one of those things that of course is very important but what are the other things that's important to an escrow the terms and the buyer's seriousness we don't want to accept an offer that's the best price but two weeks into escrow they send you a thirty thousand dollar price reduction uh because their inspection had a little bit more items that they weren't expecting so now they want a big drop in the price nope we want to take the offer that is the strongest, the people that know up front, hey, this property, this is as is. Do your inspections. If there's maybe some things here or there, we'll, we'll work with you, but this this is the price. Don't try and beat us down later. If you do, we're gonna cancel on you. We're gonna move on to the next offer because we have a bunch of buyers. Yep, that is right. That is what we are trying to accomplish. Brandon, I get it, but I'm not comfortable listing my house for that low. Hey, I hear you out, man. I resonate with that a lot. Let me ask you this. If I list your house at 500, and I bring you an offer at 490, how are you gonna feel? Maybe a little bit bummed, like I didn't keep my word, like I didn't sell your house for top dollar. What happens if I list it for 475 and I bring you five offers at 500, 502, 505, 510? Would you hate me? Would you still say, Brandon, I'm frustrated that you listed my house for so low. No, because you got the price that you wanted, man. That's it, that's simple. <sighs> Just kidding, I'm kidding. 
I'm kidding. Let me, let me chill out. Guys, we're here to help, man. We wanna bring as many offers to you as possible and as many strong freaking offers that we can. We wanna bring you the buyer that's gonna be simple to work with, the agent that's gonna be simple to work with, the lender that's a freaking pro, that's gonna make this deal so easy. So by the time your house is officially sold, you're looking back and you're going, that was freaking easy. And I'm gonna say, I told you. That's it, that's exactly how it's gonna go. Trust your professional, know that they are here to work in your best interest and, and believe in the process. We've proven this time and time again. Check out all these photos popping up right now. Ooh, these all sold for more than what they you know were actually listed for. This has been proven time and time and time again. This is how you net the most money possible. So it's not about selling the house, listing the house to sell it for less money. It's about listing it for less to bring as much traffic and interest in the property to set the highest closed sell in that neighborhood. It's gonna happen, you guys just have to have faith. So that's it for this video guys. Again, my name is Brandon and make sure to hit the subscribe button down below as it does help grow the channel and leave me a comment saying, Brandon, I just sold my house for top dollar and I set the record comp. You're welcome.